morning guys welcome to today's video we took yesterday off you guys didn't notice because we still had so many videos to post but now we are caught up to current day yesterday while you guys were gone we took advantage of that time tried to move as much stuff we just have worth 75 percent moved out of our old house the last stuff to come is coming this week and hopefully the horses but i'm going to catch you guys up really quick with what we got done while well, you guys were gone. We are in the process of unpacking and that is ugly, you guys. We have a garbage bag, we have a secondhand store bag. I am organizing things. Sam's got all his junk over there. Like we are getting stuff unpacked. We have a ton of schleich over here. This is um, not all of it, but this is some of Gabby's collection, some of Sylvie's collection. Most of hers is in different kind of boxes. But this is this is our schleich stuff. It's going upstairs into the spare bedroom for storage. But before I show you guys what um, we got up to yesterday while you were away, I want to tell you guys what happened to me in the night. You're going to be shook. I was attacked. I was attacked in my own home. I was attacked by a broom. Let me explain. Sam came to bed really late and I had to pee. So I came down the stairs. He woke me up when he came to bed. So I came down those stairs, came over here, and I was walking through this doorway. Unbeknownst to me, Gabby was also walking through this doorway and it was pitch black and she had a broom in her hand. I could see her, apparently. She couldn't or see or hear me. So I'm walking along, and all of a sudden, she whacks me with the broom. You were pitch black, so I was walking into a wall, so I put it there to see if I was walking into a wall. She did. And she walked into the broom. <laughs> she did that. That's kind of true. Walking into the broom. <laughs> So there you have it. There are always three versions of the truth. His, hers, and the actual truth. Abby and I both have different versions of it. All I know is that I was half asleep, walking to the bathroom, black <laughs> bathroom broom in my face. Over in this room, we are still, um, I am sorting through all the toys to keep in our toy section. I've decided to change that. Ellie got in to, <laughs> Ellie got into the tape and the wool. <laughs> But I did want to show you this. I did this last night. I'm probably going to turn this around. Um, I took one of those ladders that I found around the property. This has got a broken rung, but I'm going to see if Sam can fix it. Anyway, I'm going to clean it up and I'm going to get different blankets. I just put that one on last night because I happened to take it out of the dryer. But I'm going to make a blanket rack for it. I'm not going to lie. I saw it on another channel. Uh, I just saw them. They randomly had one and it looked really cute. And I was thinking like, we always need blankets in here because we always have blankets on us, all of us at night, especially with the air conditioning, and, and then again in the winter. And I always have them folded over the back of the couch and it's so messy. Why not have like a blanket rack and we can hang our blankets on it. I could even hang this thing up on the wall. But what I think I'm going to do is rehome the grandkids station that I'm sorting through currently. And I'm going to put the blanket rack over here. On, All right, come on, man. Let's go. Let's go Ollie, show them what we did last night. Ollie, We're in the process of building like a little shoe station here for our shoes. We also have this thing that we have here, but it just gets so super messy in the winter. All right, let's go quick, quick. <laughs> that is Duck and Goose screaming for us. <laughs> yeah, Zoe and and Goosey, Lucy. So before I show you what we worked on yesterday, while well, you guys were gone, we moved stuff. And then we have been hanging out with Ollie. This is his little station up here. I'm getting him treats. Yeah, so. Bribe him to stay here. So he's gotten so friendly. What do we think happened to him while he was gone? I think someone took him because well, he doesn't even have fleas. Yeah, and he missed like a flea treatment. And, and he's been gone for like two months. Yeah, and I don't think somebody took him. I think somebody was just helping him along. Like, hey, are you a stray? Let me help you. Because he's way too friendly. Yeah, he's way friendlier. I hate barn cats. I hate the idea of barn cats. I said I would never get a cat if it had to be outdoors. Because I just I hate the life that they have to lead. Anyway, he's so super friendly. And we've been hanging out with him a lot. Alright, let's get to what we did. When I try and leave, he tries to, like, grab me to make sure I stay here. I know. He's so cute. Like, he's such a good cat now. Yeah. So friendly. I don't ever want the dogs to scare him off. I think it's the dogs that keep him from... I took a good photo of him. 
Yeah, you should post that. That's adorable. So yesterday we took the opportunity with you guys not being around, us not vlogging, to move as much stuff as we could. I want to get all the barn stuff moved over. I just want to get everything going so that our horses can come home. So we moved a bunch of our tack room stuff and we started setting up our tack room. I'm going to show you guys what we did. So that's it so far. It... Usually we'll have the doors open. There'll be more light in here. But with the cat here right now, we can't do that. So these things are not going to be here. We're going to have regular saddle hooks here. Uh, we also are going to put bridles on here. Sam put some hooks on the bottom ones. We're going to put hooks on the top ones. And every saddle will have their bridles. I can tell you put this here. I did put that there, but I don't know where we're putting those things. Like, give us advice if you have it. <laughs> Well, you put so, them completely. Up we don't have any spot for like extra bridles or extra halters or lead ropes or girths or anything like that. We don't have anything set up for that. Quote, this little box thing that we found here, um, we're going to put all of our boots in there and all of our helmets. So our boots will go on the bottom and then our helmets will go up here and I'll get Sam to put another shelf in here. All of our uh, Western saddle pads are going to go on top of here. I hung up these. Gabby will fix them. They don't look that nice. <laughs> Sophie hung up all hers. They still don't look that nice. Yeah, it's because there's different kinds. If you just use Lemieux, they'd be so pretty. But anyway, that's where all of our saddle pads are. And there was a method to our madness about why we did this. But first, cuteness overload. Hi, cutie patootie. So uh, this area that's behind there, like this is a big barn area. It's like it's too bad this whole thing wasn't made into the barn but anyways um it's a huge area we're going to we have a bunch of stuff in our basement at the old house that we have to store i have to go through and get rid of most of it and then some of it are like mementos and stuff that we want to keep so we're going to keep those um they're all in in little buckets so we're going to keep them all in the back area and we wanted to block it off oh it's like so rude yeah and also it's actually super cozy in here and as Sam said he's gonna hang it he's gonna put more panels on the wall over there kind of like the ones he did here and he's gonna hang up a TV and we're gonna be able to like hang out here I love it like also we have this huge space in front that we could put mats and farrier and vet can take care of our horses here but I'm not sure if that's what I want to do I also want Sam to be able to drive his tractor in this is his kind of section over here like along this wall We've allowed him this. I want him to have a place where he can keep his stuff. Right now he's working on the, the barn, getting it ready for the horses. So that's what that, that's why that looks like that. I also cleaned off this area, brought this bucket, which is kind of like my medicine and just a bunch of stuff that um, we brought over from the other barn. We have our microwave. We use microwave to heat water when we need it. First aid kit and then supplements we have over there. Then I switched out this stand. It was a different kind of stand, which would have been good because I had doors to keep the, the dust off, but it wasn't super sturdy. So I switched it out, put my baskets over here. And my plan is to organize this. So these water buckets won't be here. And I want this, wait, I want that thing to be all of our, our grooming bags and stuff like that. Un unless Sam finds a spot out in the barn that we can hang them up. But I'd like, if they're not going to be hung up close to the horses, then I'd like there to be like a basket with all the grooming brushes and stuff in it so we could just grab and go. I found these buckets on the property and they are perfect. Two of the same color, I'm gonna use them for Chino. He was able to finish this stall, these two stalls actually. He needs wood for that stall, but he did take out the thing in between them. There was a wall, so this is a huge stall. Either Chino could go here. I mean, I think Chino or Storm should have this one because it's so huge. We're still gonna bring our mats over and put them down here, plus we have some more mats. This is, all, this is gonna be Chino's stall. As far as we know, once everybody moves here, I don't know what will change, but this stall is going to go all the way across to this wall. It's going to be another huge stall for him. Um, Sam was able to do most of this wall and most of this wall. I'm guessing he doesn't like bending down to do the last thing because on both sides, he hasn't finished the last thing. He built this side up really high. 
because he plans to keep to he plans to store the hay over here so this is where the hay is going to go so there will be a board on the bottom there so that he can't get into this area again another ladder um that i'm going to move but he's going to that's where the hay is going to go the extra hay uh chino's going to go in there that leads me to updates you guys know that we were building this area as a run-in and like a communal stall for our mares <sighs> Sam does not like how it looks. So he ordered some panels. I don't know what panels are, but he ordered panels. They come on Thursday and he's gonna redo this section with panels. I'll look, I'll get him to show me what panels are. I think, I don't know. Anyways, I think it's like that fence over there, that yellow one. So he's gonna redo it and they come on Thursday. And then the rest of our wood also comes on Thursday. So again, we're waiting for Thursday. Today's Tuesday and we're waiting for Thursday to get this stuff finished. Well, so the whole inside will be finished, hopefully Thursday, early Friday. So what is holding us up from bringing our horses back is, es is essentially Chino Field. So, um, wow, like look at, there's grass growing in it already again. Sam's been dragging this field a few times a week to try and get it ready. Um, he's going to be working on it, but before he can work on it, he needs to bring our trailer home because the trailer's gonna go in that barn. He needs to be able to drive it through that gate. And, and so he's gonna work on that hopefully today, bring the trailer home. And then while he's working out here, the girls and I are gonna be working out here to pick up all the dead grass, all the rocks. And then I have a lead on a weed whacker that I'm gonna use to cut down all this. And then hopefully we'll be ready to bring the horses home. We're hoping to bring them home by the weekend. Uh, this is the gate to Chino's pasture. Also, we're gonna use that water, that water container over there. It has two tiny pinprick holes in the bottom of it, which is why I assume that the other guy left it here. I know he was using it for water. Anyway, there's two little tiny holes in it and we're gonna put Chino's hay in that keep it off the ground, keep it out of the dirt, and he's got such a long neck. I think it will just work really well for him. It's not too high. I really have not explored his field all that much. Apparently there's two gates in it, <laughs> in his field. Oh, excuse me, there's three gates, wait. There are actually six gates in his field. But I'm gonna have to come, we're gonna have to come in here and get all these things that the tractor can't dig up and cut them down and then dig it with a shovel or whatever. But that is like our our big area that like our big thing that we have to get do that we have to do. Chino's field also leads straight to our trail, which Sam needs to cut down again. Like there's just a lot to do. We're doing all of those things. We have all those things left to do. Plus we had a horse show, plus we had grandkids over, plus we have the other house, plus we have lessons, and plus we have horses that we have to take care of and spend time with. I'm gonna hate this sand, aren't I? I just know it. I know I'm gonna hate this sand. At first I loved it because I know our horses are gonna love it, but now working in it, and having it always here, I think is gonna be an issue, but we're gonna see. Anyway, that's it. Let's go and start today's video. Cute. Are they Border Collies? They are. Or Australian, Australian Shepherds? Yeah. There were Australian Shepherds here a couple of weeks ago. You're really cute. Are they cross with a Border Collie? No, same. Look at that one over there, it's so cute. With the polka dot on its head. You're really cute. And then there's a Merle. <laughs> Don't forget me, he says. Adorable. I always forget to wear my boots. If you watched our show video, then you might know that it was Julia's 13th birthday. She's a teenager now. On Saturday at the show, it was her birthday. So what an amazing day, way to spend your birthday though at a horse show. So I told her she really wants a duck, a baby duck like Sophie or a baby goose. Like she really wants one. So I told her I'd buy her one for her birthday or two for her birthday, whatever because she might want to have a pair. Anyway, so they're supposed to meet us here today and we're supposed to help Julia pick out something good for her birth. Huh? You're cuties. Are oh. they Maremmas? Yes. Are they bears? No, they're Maremmas. <laughs> Is bear a cross or no? Uh, bears great hearing. Oh. Uh, super, cross with super cute. Really like cute. He didn't say that we couldn't get a puppy. Daddy said That's no. out of my budget. Daddy said no <laughs> ducks, but he did not say no dogs. Right? Yeah. 
so I can get you. That one's really cute. Chickens and ducks and guineas is all today. Excuse me. Oh, no geese today? No. Oh, no. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, they're so cute. You better phone your dad. Mommy. You, come on. Come on, mommy. It's not me. Whoa. That thumb is too big for that thing. All right, what are these? Are these turkeys over here? No, they're meat birds. These are turkeys? Oh, these are meat birds? Yeah, meat birds. Meat chickens. How could you eat that? There we go. Oh, I, I know. know. <laughs> <laughs> I meant like it's yeah, just yeah, so yeah. sweet. Yeah. And what kind of ducks are they? The beacons and them three crosses there, mallard beacon cross or whatever. So the yellow ones are pecans, and yeah. then the black ones are pecan cross with yeah. mallard. Yeah. And then are these all meat birds here? Yeah. This one's the smaller. And then, oh, these are the guinea pigs. Yeah. They're it's really small. cute. I, I love guinea it's pigs. So but I'm just find cage animals, like so small cute. cage animals, really difficult. If you only get one, one is not that big of a deal. That's cute. That ours is like triple the size. Are these ones new from last week? Yeah. Yeah. yeah they're, they're like a new hat. Yeah, they're four days old. This one's loud. Mine's quiet. I like the one you got. That's Mine's the one. Quiet. See, it won't make noise. Mine's That's the one. Quiet. Tell. <laughs> message. Let me give me your Daddy phone. He says no. Give me your phone. <laughs> <laughs> Sophie's got four. I like this one. That's a cross. This what? And look how huge it is. I don't, ours are ours grew huge. Look how tiny it is compared. See, look, it's pretty cool, but even tinier, mommy. Sophie's loving the meat, the meat birds. They're actually really cute. I can give it to, I can give it back to Linda in one time, and I can take it. Into okay, so one. usually guinea pigs don't okay. like to be picked up. They squeal like crazy. That one's, like, these ones are actually cute and nice. Oh, it's yeah, so cute. We came here to you buy ducks. You buy them. Yeah, they just stay here for, a, they, oh, hungry. that's adorable. I know you're hungry. They only stay here for a really short time. Like the auction's over so soon. Ooh, yeah, Julia's worried about all the animals here, which I get. I don't like to see them all stressed out either. Farmers rely on this place. Like a lot of cow farmers buy their cows from here. Uh, Mom, that says I can get another duck if you say. Because you say um, yes. I, yes. Because on, why? I want that one to have one of its siblings. Let's go get you a duck. Can we please, please, oh, please no, please. no. It's only five dollars. No. Wow, I'm making Jen buy Scott a bribe. One of the meat sticks that Sam buys. What's it called again? Uh. I call it Cabela, but it's, I pronounce it wrong, the guy. It's this. Yeah, it's right there. That's it. So, you know the guy that, that comes here that usually has like the candy truck? All the candies yeah. and cookies? He had his cow, his cow had a baby calf and he went out to check it and the cow stomped him almost to death. Ooh. Broke seven ribs, broke his neck, broke his back, broke his wow. like, punctured everything I like cows could do that I know well if you have a baby let me tell you if somebody comes for your baby so he's in the hospital they put him in a coma he's lucky to be alive he's in a coma so that he can take time to heal because he's in such bad shape mm. could you imagine though yeah don't get a cow <laughs> yeah Sam cut all the grass horses are chilling I miss our horses so much and I hate having them in two different fields. I hate it. It feels like we only have four horses. It's annoying, but you guys, we're almost moved. I swear we're almost moved. I put my riding pants on today and then we went to the sales barn with our friends. And by the time we were done there, it was so scorching hot. Like I'm sweating buckets. So I'm hoping to ride today. I'm starving though. We packed up almost the whole entire house. We're gonna go home, unpack. I'm gonna eat and then we're gonna come back later and I'm gonna try and ride. Sophie wants to ride and we'll see if Gabby's gonna ride Chino. Moving like over the course of a long time. I got treats for Ollie. You got treats for Ollie. Moving to bribe him to stay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Moving over the course of a long time, period of time is good, but it's also bad. Because it feels like you're never getting done. Do you guys think it's better to do it all in one day and die in one day? 
or to go slow. When you go slow, it almost feels like you're putting your life on hold for all those weeks. Don't you know that you're beautiful?